हेलो फ्रेंड्स फ्रेंड्स वी आर गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विद शेयर कैपिटल राइट नाउ इन द शेयर कैपिटल वी वर डिस्कसिंग अबाउट ओवर सब्सक्रिप्शन ऑफ शेयर्स राइट ओवर now what is over subscription of shares that you issued 50000 shares right and you received applications for 70000 shares right you issued 50000 shares but you received applications for 70000 shares along with the application money now what to do with the excess application money that you have received on 20000 shares for that i told you there are three steps the one the first step we did was reject excess applications and refund application money whatever excess applications that you have received reject those applications in this case reject 20000 applications right and the application money received on those excess applications you have to refund that application money clear friends so this was method 1 that we discussed that outrightly reject the excess applications and refund the money clear then the second method that we discussed was partial or what we call it as pro rata allotment in this case we do not reject any applications what we do is we do partial allotment of shares to all the applicants we do not reject the applications if a person has applied for 10000 shares we are not going to give him the 10000 shares we are going to give him partial shares right that is if 50000 shares are issued and received applications are 70000 what we are going to do is for every 7 shares applied Five shares are issued. This is pro rata allotment, and in this, I told you whatever the excess money that you receive on excess applications, that money we will adjust towards further payments, towards allotment, right? If after that also, if after the adjustment, if there is anything left. if after adjustment there is anything left that will be refunded this much is clear this much we have discussed in the last lectures now in this case two only make one important note this is for case 2 right this is for case 2 if question is silent then adjust excess money towards allotment right and refund the balance right if the question is silent you adjust that excess application money that is received adjust that towards the allotment and uh, and after adjustment if there is anything left refund the balance money clear now in this lecture what we are going to do is we are going to do case number 3 case number 3 is a combination of case 1 case 1 and case 
how it is a combination of case 1 and case 2 let us see with the help of a practical problem right the practical problem is Preeti and Company Limited was registered with an authorized capital of 10 lakh divided into 1 lakh shares of rupees 10 each. The company offered 60,000 shares to the public. This is the issued shares, right? Issued capital. This is the company offered 60,000 shares to the public on which amount were payable 2 per share on application, 4 per share on allotment and the balance when required, right? Applications for 92,000 shares were received on which the directors allotted as. Right? There is an oversubscription. You issued 60,000 shares, but you received applications for 92,000 shares. That means if you have received applications for 92,000 shares, on these 92,000 shares, you must have received the application money at the rate of rupees 2. That is 1,84,000 you have received as application money. Clear? Now, how the directors have allotted the 92,000 shares now? Sorry, 60,000 shares to 92,000 applicants, right? They say applicants for 40,000 shares, they were allotted full. That means they applied for 40,000 shares and company allotted them 40,000 shares. Clear? Now, how much shares are left? 60,000 out of 60,000 issued shares, 40,000 are allotted full shares. Then they say applicants for 50,000 shares were allotted only 40% shares. How much? 20 per, uh, sorry, 20,000 shares. Third is applicants for 2,000 shares were nil, that is they were rejected. Further it says 1,72,000 were realized on account of allotment money excluding the amount carried forward from application money. Record the journal entries. Now, what is case one? In the case one, we reject the applicants. We have case one here. We rejected 2000 shares. Applicants for 2000 shares were outrightly rejected. Now, first, the very first thing is we have received application money on 92,000 shares at the rate of rupees two. Can we record journal entry for that? The very first journal entry will be bank account debit to share application account. How much? You received applications for 92,000 shares and you received the application money at the rate of rupees 2 per share. That means you have received 1,84,000 rupees. This much is clear, right? Now, the very first thing what we are going to do is we are going to deal with case one. What is case one? Applicants for 2000 shares, they were rejected. If they are rejected, what is? That mean that means we are refunding the application money that we have received from 2000 applicants, right? What is the entry for refund for 2000 applicants, right? What is the entry for that share application account debit, right? To bank. We are refunding the application money that we have received on 2000 shares because we have rejected those shares 4000 and 4000. This much clear friends. Right now applicants for 40,000 shares they were allotted full. That means their application money will be transferred to for 40,000 shares, 100% allotment. That means their full application money is being transferred to capital account, 
right what is the journal entry share application account debit to share capital account how much 40000 shares applied for and we have received application money on these 40000 and we are allotting them full that means this 80000 that we have received at the time of application from these 40000 applicants we are transferring this 80000 to our share capital account clear now this was a very basic case we have done the first case now is this second case applicants for 50,000 shares were allotted only 40 percent shares that is the case of pro rata allotment isn't it we are not rejecting the applications applied for 50,000 shares and what is the you how much shares are allotted sorry not received i will say allotted shares how much are the allotted shares they say out of the 50000 they were allotted 40 percent shares right so the persons who applied for 50000 shares they got 20000 shares this is pro rata allotment we have not rejected the applications that means for every five shares we have given two shares this means that for every five share applied for every five share applied we are giving two shares this is pro rata allotment or what i say as partial allotment we are not rejecting but we are partially allotting the shares so how much is the excess applied for 30000 excess applications isn't it this is the excess applications now what is the excess application money you have received on this excess shares excess applications you must have received this is 30,000 shares this is shares so you applied for excess 30,000 shares what is the excess application money received excess application money received What is the excess application money received? This is 30,000 multiplied by 2 rupees 60,000. Isn't it? So first of all you find out what are the excess applications and then you know on those excess applications you must have received the excess application money. So this money amounts to rupees 60,000. Right? Now, can you tell me what is the amount due on allotment? Amount due on allotment. See, if we are issuing 60,000 shares, we will allot only 60,000 shares. And what is the amount on allotment? On allotment, it says rupees 4. So what is the allotment money due is 2,40,000. Now we have to receive at the time of allotment 2,40,000. We have already received excess money of 60,000. So we can adjust this money of 60,000 towards allotment. Isn't it? We can adjust this 60,000 rupees towards allotment. Isn't it? What will be the journal entry for this? Share application account 
debit see here i have already debited share application account with 84000 what was the total 184000 right are you getting my point so share application is received for 50000 shares in this case multiplied by 2 that is 1 lakh rupees how much can be transferred to share capital how much is being transferred to share capital only 20,000 shares that we are allotting will be transferred to share capital that is 40,000 and the remaining excess 60,000 that will be adjusted towards allotment so I can say to share allotment account how much 60,000 Is this much clear friends now see here I credited share application with 1 lakh 84 thousand right now here I debited share application with 4,000 here with 80,000 and here with 1 lakh rupees so total is I have debited share application with 1 lakh 84 thousand are you getting it I'll tell you the combined entry for this first I am dividing the entries case wise then I will tell you the combined entry for this right once you have understood the concept you can pass the combined entry no problem right this journal entry is clear share application we have received on 50,000 shares at the rate of rupees 2 that we have received 1 lakh rupees how much we can transfer to share capital to the extent of number of shares that we have allotted only that much amount we can transfer to share capital that much amount we can use for the business how much shares we have allotted to the 50,000 applicants we have allotted 20,000 shares so to the share capital we will transfer 20,000 shares at the rate of rupees to 40,000 and whatever is the excess money 60,000 is the excess application money here we have done the calculation also the 60,000 will be adjusted towards allotment clear now can you tell me what is the amount due on allotment share allotment account debit to share capital account you issued 60,000 shares then obviously you will allot 60,000 only you can't allow you can't allot more than what you have issued then at the time of allotment the amount due is 2,40,000 clear now this much you know now amount due on allotment is 2,40,000 we have adjusted the excess application money that means adjustment of adjusted excess application money we have adjusted the excess application money of 60,000 so what is the balance due on allotment this is balance due on allotment 1,80,000 clear now read the question again read the last line they say rupees 1,72,000 were realized on account of allotment money right excluding the amount carried forward from application money that means whatever was due on allotment exclude the amount carried forward for application money whatever is left what is left 1,80,000 so out of this 1,80,000 what we have received is 1,72,000 what is the amount received on allotment 1,72,000 that means 8,000 rupees is still 
allotment money not received this is allotment money not received now can you tell me on how many shares this allotment money is not received if the amount is 8000 allotment money is to be received at the rate of rupees 4 then that means on 2000 shares at the rate of rupees 4 we have not received allotment money simply 8000 divided by 4 comes to the number of shares on which you have not received allotment money right so now allotment money due was 240000 out of this 240000 60000 is adjusted from the excess application money that we have received right and the bal out of the balance 80000 we have received 172000 for that the journal entry will be bank account debit to share allotment account how much is received 1,72,000 clear friends so these are the journal entries that you will be doing in this third case in the third case what they do is simply they combine case 1 and case 2 they accept some applications to the full that is the very basic case that we have done for some of the applicants they will reject the applications that is case 1 to some of the applicants they will allot shares on pro rata basis that is case 2 right so solve the individual cases combine the general entries that is your case 3 so it is important for you to understand case 1 and case 2 especially case 2 is important only then you will be able to do case number 3 right so this is how we deal with the pro rata allotment and case 3 that is combination of pro rata allotment and the rejection of shares now how to pass a combined entry the first entry will remain same bank to share application 184000 right second entry that when you have to transfer the share application when you have to adjust the share application money at the time of allotment here i passed one entry share application to bank 4000 then share application to share capital then here share application to share capital to share allotment for this i can pass one entry right the first entry will remain same okay the first entry will be bank account debit to share now i'm going to tell you the combined entry right to share application account this is 1,84,000 because you have received applications on 92,000 shares at the rate of rupees 2 each right you received applications for 92,000 thousand shares at the rate of rupees to each now second entry share application account debit how much one lakh eighty four thousand now out of this you are refunding some amount to bank how much two thousand multiplied by two that is four thousand rupees right then you are transferring the amount to share capital that is the amount that we are going to consider as our capital this will be not more than 60,000 rupees isn't it so this is 1,20,000 what is left out of 1,84,000 you have refunded 4,000 to the applicants whose applications were rejected right then you transferred the money to the share capital to the extent of 60,000 because that is your issued capital only that much you can transfer it to share capital see here also here I credited share applicate uh, share capital account with 80,000 first right then here with 40,000 what is the total 1 lakh 20,000 1 lakh 20,000 
because you can only transfer the amount to the share capital to the extent of the capital that you have issued you cannot subscribe to more than issued capital you cannot transfer the money to share capital more than what you have issued right so tr you transfer this amount to share capital what is left 60000 that is the excess application money that will be adjusted towards allotment to share allotment account right 60000 clear the excess application money is being adjusted towards share allotment account this is how you adjust the share application i have combined three entries into one entry this is the right way of doing it right this is time saving in exams first when you initially understand the topic at that time you can do it individual entries divide the entries case wise pass the general entries once you have understood the concept then you can pass a single entry clear then what will be the next entry at the time of allotment that will remain same that is share allotment account debit to share capital account what will be the amount you cannot allot more than what you have issued 60,000 at the into 4 4 is the money that is to be received at the time of allotment so the amount due is 2,40,000 then what you have received from allotment is out of 2,40,000 60,000 has been adjusted towards the excess application money that has been received and out of the balance you have received 172000 to share allotment account you have received 172000 right you received 172000 here you adjusted 160000 here that means you have adjusted 232000 and 8000 is still pending to be received on allotment clear friends so i hope case 3 is clear it is just a combination of case 1 and case 2 the only thing is you have to do it carefully how which is the case 1 how to deal with it what is the case 2 how to deal with it right what is the basic case that is in which you allot all the shares to the applicants right if you applied for 40000 shares you allot 40000 shares right so i hope this much is clear to you clear so if you have any queries friends feel free to send me an email at ksj teaching at the rate of gmail.com right now in the next lecture what we are going to discuss is we are going to continue with this pro rata allotment only that is case 2 and case 3 all the cases I can say over subscription I can say I won't say pro rata basically what we are going to do is we are going to deal with case 3 right and along with this category of persons right this topic again i will explain you with the help of practical examples only there is nothing theoretical in it there is a very basic thing in it right case three and category of persons this is what we are going to do in the next lecture right so that's all for this lecture friends thank you so much